Whispers in my head. What you gonna do? So take it, kid. Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. So I wanna share this fun little thing with you guys. I've been seeing it all over YouTube and TikTok and I ended up getting one and it didn't cost that much. So it was like around 20 some dollars to get it. And I got the one that was a little bit more fancy than some of the other ones. And I got the four tier uh, snack caddy. So you can use this caddy for multiple things. I'm going to be using it for a snack caddy. So I mentioned in my video that when I did my snack pantry, so our snack pantry is right there. I did a video on that where I clean out my snack pantry and then I was mentioning that I wish I had a separate one like for my teens and stuff like that. This one is going to be our monthly snack caddy and I'll probably change it up next month because next month will be Valentine's and I'll make it fun for that. So I don't have mine put together, so I'm gonna put it together in today's video and then we are going to put a bunch of snacks in it. And I just did my once a month uh, grocery haul, so you guys can go back and check out that one. This is where I have all of the snacks and stuff that I got to put on this cart. I'm going to fill up the cart throughout the month so whatever I can get in the cart for starters is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm gonna put this together. I have it right down here um, in my box. So all I did is just order it off of Amazon. I'll leave a link down below and you guys can check it out if you guys are interested. Also, you can use this for a cleaning caddy or you can use it for like your fruits, your veggies, onions, potatoes, stuff like that. And you can just roll it around your kitchen. I'm probably not gonna do it that way. Mine is going to be more for the kids and for a fun thing. So one of the rules, and I've kind of mentioned it in my other grocery video was, one of the rules is if we're going to use it for a a snack caddy that we have to be good with how many snacks that we have throughout the day so the kids aren't able to bug me through the day with at you know wanting more and more so it's mainly going to be uh during school time they can pick out a snack and they can pick out a drink and that's going to be their morning snack Probably not in the afternoon, it'll just be our morning snack. And then I also have like string cheese and stuff that's in the fridge that we can tie in with some of this. Um, this is going to be snacks and drinks. And if they want to, they can grab their drink in the morning, put it in the fridge, and then that'll be for for later on. But I was excited for this. The kids didn't um, ask for this. This is something that I found and I wanted to share it with the kids because I like stuff like this too. So we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna put this together if I can and then we're gonna fill it up and put a bunch of snacks in it. Whispers in my head. i 
have so far. So I ended up putting this right here just because I didn't have enough room and that's okay for that to go there because I never have a place for my fruit and stuff to go anyways. It's usually just on the table. Okay, so for the fruit snacks, I got a pack of this. It came with these um, roll-ups and then just some fruit gushers, different kinds, more fruit roll-ups in here. And then I have another box of them. So once them go, I can fill them up. But once this caddy is done for the month, then we're not doing it. And then they have to wait till next month. So I still have a bunch of stuff off to the side that I can fill it up with throughout the month. But this is just what it looks like right now. And I got a couple of things of fish crackers. I have our um little meat sticks here we have some pears i'll change this up throughout the month too i'll get um applesauce and i'll probably get mandarin oranges uh i have chocolate covered raisins and then i have the yogurt raisins i have the two different types of gum we always like gum in the house so i'm just gonna have that in there and then maybe every month i'll change up the gum um i also store gum in our pantry snack pantry that we have um, and then also I put some in my purse. I always have gum on hand. So that is for the top one. Next one, I just have different kinds of chips in here. So we have Ruffles, we have Cheetos, Doritos, Fritos, um, and then we got some barbecue. And once these are gone, I can refill them, but I'm not going to do it where the, if the kids aren't happy with what's in here, uh, they're not allowed to go in my extra snack ones and grab them. So this is just what they're going to get. And then down here we have the Chex Mix, the wafers, and then we have the Ritz cheese, Chips Ahoy, the Nutter Butter, and then I think that's, that's it for these. And then some cookies and mini Oreos, mini Oreos. So that's what we have on that one. And then for our drinks, we have water. We have our Kool-Aid jammers. Um, we have our sparkling water. I have two different kinds in here. And then I also have this one, um, pineapple, strawberry, sparkling water. And this I got for the water I got at Aldi's. Um, and then these I think I got at Walmart. And then the Kool-Aid jammers I got at Walmart. So when it comes to the drinks like this, if there's not enough on here, then I'll let the kids grab one from what I have extra. But once these are gone for the month, then we won't have any more. So like I said, they'll be able to have these during school time and, um, and probably not in the afternoon. We'll probably just do it once a day that they can have something like this. Um, my kids are really good with not having stuff like this all day long. But if I would let them, then they probably would eat like everything all at one time. But this is just our new little snack caddy. So hopefully you guys liked it. Um, I think it's just going to be something fun for the kids to have extra. And then every month I'll change it out. Um, but if it gets to a point where we need two of them, then maybe I will get another one of these um, and then just have two of them side by side or just have like a drink one or eventually... Um, I don't know, maybe if we have area like over there, we can have our own little refrigerator, little drink, <laughs> drink fridge. I don't know, we have enough fridges out in the garage, but that is what our snack caddy looks like. Okay, so that is everything that I want to share with you guys today. Let me know if you guys have your own little snack caddy. If you guys seen it on TikTok and on YouTube, a lot of people are sharing different ideas that they can um, add to their caddy. Uh, so hopefully you guys liked mine for today and we will switch it up throughout the months and stuff. But this is just what I wanted to do for this month and for the first time with adding everything. We're gonna keep it over here in the kitchen by our homeschool stuff. This way it won't be in the way with the kitchen. The way our kitchen is set up, there's kind of like a little dip in um, how the wall goes. So this is off to the side and it won't get in the way. Um, and if the kids need to get to their school stuff, they just need to push it off to the side. It also has some lock uh, wheels on there so it won't move around if you don't want it to. Okay, so we are at the end of the month. We are on, we are about a week away from the end of the month. And this is what we have left over in our caddy. 
So I ended up putting some bananas on here. We had them in a little container that was up on a different area in the beginning of the video. Uh, we have this left with the fruit and the raisins. And I ended up putting oranges and apples on here because we are out of the other snacky stuff. So we have this on there. And this is the end of our chips and our fish crackers and all the other little snacky bags. And we have no more drinks. We'll keep filling it up with this kind of stuff until this is gone and then we'll do another refill. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Whispers in my head.